Now back in the early 2000s, Jack Pacific was picking out a lot of these arcade plug and plays. And one of the ones I really enjoyed the most was the Miss Pac-Man plug and play. Mainly because I really like Miss Pac-Man. And this is actually a pretty good version of Miss Pac-Man on a plug and play. Looking at this controller here, it does have a really nice joystick. Spawns fairly well. Got a couple action buttons here. Another cool feature on this joystick is it actually twists side to side. Now that's to play pull position. That's also on this plug and play. It does self-center. You let go, it goes back to the center position again like a steering wheel. So far, this is the only home port of pull position I can find that responds really well to the controls. Uh, if you ever try to play pole position on the 2600, you use a joystick, it doesn't work so well. Other consoles use a joystick. Uh, <clears throat> but this one here, using this twistable joystick here to steer, steer the car in pole position, really makes for a very enjoyable arcade experience on a plug and play. Now, some time back, you know, back in the early 2000s, before I started doing these YouTube videos, I had one of these plug and play Miss pac -Man. This is not mine. This one's on loan to the show from my buddy RK from the Toy Tune podcast. But I took one apart and I actually mounted it inside of an old uh, a steering wheel for a PC game to actually have like a good version of pole position to play at home. <laughs> it worked out really well. I wish I would have kept it. I might do it again. I might buy another one of these that is junk to uh, make another wheel. And show what I did. But anyway, this one comes preloaded with four games. We have Mappe, Xevious, Galaga, oh yeah, and of course, Pole Position and Miss Pac Man for the fifth game. Now, another thing that was really cool that Jack Specific did on this particular model is they included a little cartridge port back here in the back. Now, this was used with their game keys. Now this game key here has Pac-Man and Bosconian on it. So what you would do is you would plug the game key into the back. Like so. There it is plugged in. And then two extra games would appear on the main menu. This was kind of a neat concept that Jack Specific did. I don't think they made very many game keys. I think there was two maybe. It didn't really sell very well. This was actually a failure for them, but it was a neat concept to where they could have sold just this one main plug and play unit and then sold little packages of these little game keys to add more games to the plug and play itself. That's kind of neat because that would have been a good way to reduce manufacturing costs instead of making dedicated plug and plays for all different types of uh, arcade games. You just release a cartridge to plug into the plug and play and play some of the newest arcade games that we're releasing. I kind of like that idea. It's actually pretty cool. So let's take a look at the <clears throat> buttons here on the front. We have our on off. We have our menu button, power LED. We have a master reset. Another cool thing that this particular plug and play does is it does retain high scores. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome does run on four AA batteries behind this door right here. So let's power this thing up and take a look at the main game menu and just look at some of the arcade games on here. So awesome. Now we <clears throat> turn the unit on. Ms. Pac-Man Collection. Awesome. So of course we have Ms. Pac-Man, Pole Position, Xavius. We can erase the high scores. Mappy. And Galaga. So let's start off with Miss Pac Man. Press fire. Oh, yeah. I really like plug and play games, they're, they're pretty cool. Nice, quick pick up and play. Plug them into your TV set. Pretty awesome. Man, this bag plays actually pretty nice, man. I'm liking this. Get the ghost! Get the cherry! Oh! Back here, you. 
Cool, so let's check out the next game here. I quit. Let's check out, oh, one of my favorite arcade games, Galaga. Let's go for it. Oh, the fire button needs some work on this one. It doesn't respond too well. But, still, it's Galaga! I remember when this came out, first came out on a plug-and-play unit. It wasn't this one specifically. I think it was one of the earlier Pac-Man ones. That I was really stoked to have a plug-and-play version of Galaga, man. Pretty awesome. So let's look at the next one. What a crazy fire button. Mappy. This is kind of a pretty odd little game. It's actually a lot of fun. I played this a lot in the arcade. I like the trampolines. Boing. It's like, Mouse is like, what the heck was that? Plus I love the music. Oh, oh that was stupid. I like how he twitches. It cracks me up. Oh, open the door! Ah! The fire button was my uh, downfall. Alright, another game. Pole position. Now, this one uses the joystick as a steering wheel. You twist it back and forth, which is awesome. But look at these high scores. Holy crap. 29,760. Wow, and it actually retained those high scores with the batteries out of it, which is really awesome. Oh, I like that. Fire the qualifier. Let's go. There we go. Gotta use the other button to shift. Oh, come on, you crazy fire button. But the control of the car is super nice with this joystick that you can just twist. Whoa, whoa. I'm sliding. You know what's really awesome is on the decal on the back of the battery compartment it actually has a quote back there from IGN which is pretty awesome. It basically says oh as I crash Featuring twist control steering, the best controlling pole position outside of the arcade. IGN.com. This is actually a really good version of pole position. It was so cool that they uh, made it so the joystick would twist to steer. That was a really good idea that they had for this plug and play. It really, it really enhances pole position on here. This is the whole reason why I would have one of these Miss Pac-Man plug and plays. It's for this version of pole position. Awesome. And now we'll look at the last game on here, which is Xavius. Oh, come on, fire button. Work. There we go. Sounds aren't too bad. Ah! Oh, got a bomb. <laughs> awesome. Ah, bomb. Oh, oh! This, oh, oh! Right. I'm gonna go back to the menu. Now, oh, no, 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 not do that. Don't do that. There we go. Now we'll plug in the game key. Gonna reboot. Unlock more games with the game key. Hot Chan. Dun, dun, dun. And now we have our two additional games Pac Man and Barshkonian. Two awesome games. So, Pac Man, we'll try it first. 
pretty much the same game from all the other Pac-Man plug and plays, but hey, it's pretty cool. I like where they were going with the cartridges for the plug and play. Uh, just didn't work out too well, unfortunately. Take the ghost! Awesome! And of course we have Boscolian. Really fun game. Brush off. I like how it talks. Got that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Whoa. One more. You notice it has like the same radar screen as uh, Rally X. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh. You blankety blank. Okay, I gotta destroy this guy before I stop. Alive, alive. Ha! Pretty awesome. I really like this little plug and play. Uh, if you don't have a Miss Pac Man plug and play and you really enjoy pole position, it's definitely worth getting one of these just to play pole position on. Uh, with that twist control steering, it, it really can't be beat. I love this little plug and play. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.